Head goes down on Kildonan Bay and then up and away they go. Lady Tiptree taking a hold of with Mabining. They're the last two in the first 200 metres. There she goes, fleet-footed across into the lead. There she goes on by three parts of a length. Kildonan Bay is racing in second. Desert Pride's following them through. Snow Tune is rather keen on the right-hand side and Snow Tune's letting rip. Crazy Blues between runners now gets to the outside, three and a half lengths off them. Brunilda's five lengths off with Lundy Island as they go to the 800 metre marker. Lady Tiptree, yellow sleeves and cap hard held. Mabining is the trailer, seven lengths in it. There she goes, trying to make each and every post a winning one a length and a tail. Snow Tune's going to corner in second. Kildonan Bay asking for lifelines towards the inside comes under the drive. Crazy Blues on the outside. Desert Pride's going to go towards the inside. Further out is Brunilda. There she goes at the 300 metre marker with a one length lead. Snow Tunes on the inside, the closest challenger, but it's hands and heels for there she goes inside the 200. Snow Tunes going to try and make a race of it. Brunilda's on the outside. There she goes by a half. Snow Tune is starting to eat into the lead, and that's it. Snow Tune stealing the show late on. There she goes, Crazy Blues, and maybe Brunilda then a four-way go for the minor spots. So there she goes, had a good lead, but Snow Tune, a big victory, of course, was quite, quite keen in the early stages, but Rachel Venica got the noble tune for the Michael Roberts stable to stake a winning claim the last 100 metres. This is for Melanie Roberts and Carolyn Roberts. Bred by the Clifton Stud. There she goes, Crazy Blues. Brunilda sneaks through ahead of Desert Pride, Lundy Island, Lady Tiptree, and Kildonan Bay, who came under the early drive. There she goes. It was Hands and Hills coming to the 300, and Snow Tune on the left hand side. Also, Hands and Hills. There you'll see Rachel Benica actually drops the stick on Snow Tune, but Snow Tune responds in devastating fashion the last 100 meters. No stick required for the victory. Snow Tune, winner's box bound at 10 Rand 70, gets the seal of approval. Well done to all. Okay, there was that program that Michael might remember watching, a program called No Jacket Required. Well, this one's called No Stick Required because Rachel has uh, thrown her stick away and uh, shown that she doesn't need the stick to get Snow Tune to win. Let's talk about uh, the gentleman that loves and looks after Snow Tune. Uh, his name is Nguane, and he gets 2,000 Rand from Hollywood and Gold Circle. Well done to you, Nguane. Congratulations, 2,000 Rand going your way. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's get Rachel in. Yeah, Melanie and Carolyn. Melanie and Carolyn, both of them will be thrilled with you. And I don't like to talk about negative things, but it's all there for us to see in the stats. It has been a bit of a quiet uh, a patch for you, and we all go through it as, as racing analysts, owners, trainers, whatever it is. But hard work and perseverance and grinding away, Bang, you're right back, and you don't even need a stick either. <laughs> Thank you. I always say the fillies don't like the stick, hands and heels. Um, I wouldn't say it's been much for quite a month. Um, we've had a chaos here with the rain, um, not getting the horses work in. I've had a few suspensions. Um, so we're very happy to be back here. No, it's wonderful to have you back here, Rachel. And uh, tell us about Snow Tune because you know her very well. You know exactly how to get a good tune out of her. Yes, um, well, Snow Tune. <laughs> um, I was super chuffed with her today. Um, she ran on right to the line. Um, she didn't mind no stick, she doesn't like the stick anyway, so um, I'm very happy with the win. Lovely, congratulations, nice to have you back in the winner's area. Good ride, nice strong ride with the hands, well done. Thank you very much, and I must say massive thanks to the Roberts family um, for all the support, Mr. Roberts, um, Melanie, Carolyn, the owners. Um, thank you for the continuous support, um, and hopefully we'll see you just now. Lovely, congratulations. Thank you. Spot on. Come on, Michael, come and chat to us, and uh, Snow Tune, Sorry, I think I called it Noble Tune a moment ago, but Snow Tune, the Noble Tune filly, 
she's never too far off the action and she's won a good race. Yes, the last time, uh, one and, you know, the race didn't work out for us. You know, we wanted to sit in and uh, unfortunately Rachel found herself in front and, uh, you know, she can over race a bit. But uh, today I thought the race, you know, with the pacemaker going off like that, uh, the leader was, you know, she managed to get, uh, you know, switch off after a couple of furlongs behind it and, you know, gave a nice breather and she picked up well, you know. Obviously, I must say a big thank you to, um, to my daughter, Melanie, in the UK. I hope she watched uh, her race. And, you know, Carolyn is home. She, you know, she's doing a bit of office work. But, uh, you know, well done to them both, you know. Uh, they enjoy their racing and, you know, it's nice to see their colours in number one box again, you know. And uh, Clifton started breeder and uh, Peter and Jenny Blythe. Yeah, they uh, certainly know how to breed a good horse to the Blythes. And as I said to Rachel, and yes, the weather's been playing havoc and, and, and we've missed meetings, etc. But by her high standards and by your high standards, uh, the places have been there and it's now back in the winner's enclosure and back on the road again. Yes, you know, uh, you know unfortunately, as you know, you know we, we haven't got a huge stable. We actually got uh, more young horses this year than older horses. And, you know, you know we've had a fantastic run. Yes, you remember that. absolutely. And, you know, we had a few horses r running up sequences. You know, and eventually, the, you know, the handicapper got us a bit now. So I said to her, yeah, that, you know, we were, we were going to hit a quiet patch, which happened. Yes. And, but, I mean, you know, sh you know, slowly, you know, they'll come down a bit, you know, to their level. And then they'll roll, roll in again, you know. So it's, you know, it's a bit up and down. You, you know what's the game like. Absolutely. But the horses are looking well and they're always in the money. And uh, the point I'm making is it's lovely to have you and Rachel back in the winner's box. Yes, it's nice for her too because, you know, obviously she's going for the Apprentice Championship, uh, which, you know, it'll give me a great pleasure to share winning it because, yes. you, know, she, she, you know, she's a worker and, you know, she's a good rider. And um, also I must say a big thank you to Muzzy. You know, he rides his filly and work at home. She can be a bit difficult. And, uh, you know, especially when she's going home after work and to my staff you know we're all working hard and uh, you know it's nice to be back here it certainly is michael lovely to talk to you as always and all the very best when are you going to joburg i'm going later today lovely all the thank best you. and travel safely michael michael roberts and yeah as i say consistent stable they're always in the in the money the point i was only making is that uh, winners have been a little quiet for them but they're back in the winners enclosure snow tune well done to uh, melanie and to carolyn uh, well done. Congratulations. This filly is never too far off the action. And uh, Michael Roberts, a horseman of the highest order.